so Fields of Gold by Sting. This is from his 1993 album, Ten Sumner's Tales. And to me, this is probably Sting's best song. Just love this song. I did Shape of My Heart uh, a couple weeks ago, so I wanted to do another one of his. And to me, this was the obvious choice. Um, just a great song. And this is my own fingerstyle arrangement. All right, so we're in double drop D for this one. Uh, we want to drop our low E down to a D, and as well drop our high E down to a D. And the middle four strings just stay the same, right? So just those outside strings get dropped down. And I'll put the tuning down here, right? I like to do a lot of stuff in drop D, but double drop D, I'll explain why I dropped that high E down as we go along. And to me, it made a big difference. Uh, sort of the key to my arrangement, actually. We're gonna start up here on the seventh fret, and we're gonna do a harmonic on the G, B, and E, like so. And then we're gonna fret uh, third finger on E9 and little finger on A9. And we're gonna play this pattern. All right, so that pattern is, um, we're gonna go E string, and then D string, A string, and then the G string, and then A string, D string. And what I do is on that last note, I mute the G string because I don't want to get. that G string ringing there so I'll mute it I'll just touch it with my middle finger as I hit this last note okay so we just get the, the first three strings ringing all right and now we're gonna start the melody so we're gonna be down here Add that bass note on A2. All right. So we got open E, B2, open B, and then twice on G2. While we hit that bass note. Okay. And here's where I really. Um, you know, I like the idea of getting that E string down to a D because when I first started working this out, I was going. And you know, that sounds okay because you got that B string ringing. Right, and that sounds pretty good. But once you get this, To me, that makes all the difference, getting that, that D ringing. Okay, so that's why I did it in double drop D. All right, so we've got the first pattern. So that's, we're pinching on the B string and the A string. And now we're gonna hit the open D. while we get this bass note here on E5. Open D. Okay, I know my fingers are blocking your view there, but that, you know, with just that part without the bass. So the first part. So you can hear all those strings ringing. To me, I just love that sound. So now we just add the bass notes. All right, now. So. Well, we just change the bass. Now 
we're going to repeat it, but we're going to hit that um, open D. And we don't hit the open D in between. Okay, and we end up on that low E, which is a D note, right? Now we're going to go hammer on uh, D2 to D4, and then a pinch on B2 and open G, back to D4, and then we're going to play the A note, we play the D4. And then we're going to come up to this chord, which is just third finger on E9 and first finger on G7. We're just going to play all strings. We've got that lick there. Okay, so play that chord, and I'm throwing a little extra bass note there. going to come down here so we've got first finger on E5 and third finger on G6. We're going to go G6 open B and then we've got a little finger on D7. Now take our third finger off and we've got open G. Again, you know, I just like to get open strings ringing. up like that. And when you go down from there, you've got to make sure you let the strings ring. Don't hit the strings with this part of your hand, right? Like I just did. You just gotta let them ring. And now we're just gonna follow it up with this. So that's just uh, D4, and we just start arpeggiating that. And when we hit that last low E, again, like we muted the G string before up, up here. We want to mute the G string again, so just we're just going to bend our, our third finger over there as we hit that last note. So we're just getting those first three strings ringing. So let's take it from the beginning. We just repeat, but we're gonna add the bass note. The da da da, da da da, da. Right? So we're doubling up that bass note. And now this part, we're gonna go. We're going to dr drop the bass, so we're going to go. Going to add that A note in between the B and the G, right? All right. And then. So that's a little shorter. Instead of going. As we, as we walk in the field, it's.
actually that last one was supposed to be. All right. And then you repeat that. And I just did. So let's go just from when the melody starts at the beginning of the song. Okay, so far so good. Now we're going to go into the middle section, which is actually really easy. So we're just going to play this chord, which is like a G with that A there, so it's like a G add 9. And we just go straight across. Okay, so we, again we got a ton of strings ringing. So. Second time, I'm going to replace that third finger, my first finger. Back, because that just makes it easier to get back to that. And I just put more bass notes in there on the last one. Sliding that down and replacing it with my first finger. It's just a matter of repeating that pattern. Um. And just ending up on that D chord that's, you know, like a D shaped uh, D chord. <laughs> or sorry, a C shaped D chord. And but just with a little finger. And that's your last chord. All right, so, um, you know, it's a fairly simple arrangement, but it sort of relies upon having decent technique, um, you know, keeping your hand away from the strings, because if you get into these sections with the strings are ringing and you kill them, then the whole vibe of the song sort of goes out the window, right? So um, let's just play the whole thing one time through, a little tiny bit slower, so you can sort of play along and see how you do. <laughs>
All right. I actually think I missed a verse there somewhere. <laughs> but it really doesn't matter, you know, because all the parts are there. It's just a matter of you putting it together. And there are a lot of verses in this song. I think my demo was about two minutes. The actual song is about 3.30. So. Um, but hopefully this will give you, you know, enough of an idea of how you can just play this solo and, uh, you know, just um, finger style. All right. Beautiful song. I really, really enjoyed working on it. Put me in a great space all week working on this song. It's just so beautiful. Um, so I hope you get something out of it, and we'll talk to you next time. Mm -hmm.